Hi guys, welcome to Real Girl Thrift. My name is Angie and I resell clothing online to make an income. So I go to thrift stores, I find name brand clothing that resells well and then I take pictures of it, I take measurements of it and I sell it on Poshmark, eBay and Mercari. If you enjoy reselling related content or style videos, please go ahead and subscribe. I would love to have you. Please also hit the thumbs up so that I know that this is good content to do on YouTube. So today's video, um, I did a lot of research for. I'm pretty excited to share what I found with you. The reason I am doing this video is because as a reseller, I need to know what the upcoming styles are so that if I see them in the thrift store and I'm contemplating to buy it, it's going to help me figure out if it's going to sell or not. Um, because even though it's good to have a name brand, it's also good to buy things to resell that are in style and in season because you will get a quicker flip for it. So today's video, I'm going to share with you the information that I found for the 2023 spring and summer fashion trends. So I'm wearing a brimmed hat that looks kind of Western because that is actually the first trend that I'm going to share with you. So I was watching the Ralph Lauren fashion show for 2023 and they all came out with at the beginning with like these brimmed hats and their attire was more of like a westerny look, a westerny feel. So I am going to pop up some images on the screen here to give you examples of what I'm talking about. So as well as these like westerny looking brimmed hats and they also had on like flowy dresses that had on these that had these metal and embellished belts with them. So it was a very westerny look to me. Um, the men also came out in like khakis and western looking hats and stuff like that. So just be O L O, be on the lookout for that type of style when you're thrifting. Okay, next up, I want to talk about fabric types. So the sheer like see-through type of fabrics are in are going to be on trend so am I gonna wear them no but they are like that more sheer look is what's in style as well I think if you're not wanting to be so revealing you know you could just have an accent of some sheer maybe on your blouse or your dress it doesn't have to be all sheer but you know, like the runway shows, they will overdo it to make the statement. So yes, sheer type of fabrics are gonna be in. Also metallic fabric. So that really shiny look, um, maybe like a metallic dress. If you're not comfortable wearing metallic, looking like full ensemble, then you could even get like a cute little metallic purse or something, or maybe you could do some metallic looking shoes. Just adding an accent to the style um, helps as well to give the look and to, to portray the image. So another thing which I kind of relate to like the more westerny look is tassels. So tassels on dresses, tassels on blouses, tassels on bags, tassels on shoes, just tassels on your clothes and accessories is also in. Something else I find interesting, this is my opinion, but I feel like this year they kind of like switched things where they made the, um, the winter was more like a spring look. And now spring to me, it seems kind of like they're trying to throw back winter. But with that being said, sparkles. So like things that you would wear to like a New Year's Eve party, like a sparkle, full sparkle blazer, sparkling dress, sparkling pants, just sparkles, um, ombre, ombre colored items. So maybe like a dress that has, you know, some different colors, but the way in which the colors are laid out is in an ombre type of pattern. So ombre is going to be really in. Another thing um, as pertaining to fabric is polka dots. 
Polka dots are going to be very in this spring and summer as well. So if you like that type of look, go ahead and get your polka dots on, sister. Okay, so let's talk about some colors that are going to be on trend. So this is something that I feel like is already happening, but it's like the bold, bright colors, the feel-good colors. I feel like these colors came out and came back after... Um, the quarantine period that we had with COVID because I felt like the fashion world wanted to express the endorphin feeling colors, the bright colors, like express yourself. You can get out of the house again. That's my perception at least. But um, I like to something to kind of compare it to, which is something that I love looking at right now is the Farm Rio. It's an anthropology brand. Um, and then they also collaborate with Adidas but they have these really bold, vibrant colors, like feel good colors that you're really making a statement when you wear and when done right, it looks really well. It looks really good. Okay, so this color, I don't know if most people are gonna wear or it's gonna compliment most people, but it is lime green and like almost like neon green. That color is going to be in as well as yellows so picking up a lot of yellow colors and then also reds which goes back to what i said where it's almost like they're switching like normally you think to wear red like during the winter but hey it's going to be in for spring and summer as well also all white wearing all white what this kind of reminds me of but i don't know if it's so closely linked but if you're familiar with the cottage core time type of look a lot of cottage core is like white, rough, like lacy, pretty dresses, very simple. You can do that type of all white, or you can do more of like a sophisticated, elegant all white as well. So um, there's these bold colors. And then on the flip side of things, there's also this basic and classic style that you can do. So you can wear like khaki pants with a blouse, more neutral colors like the creams with the blacks, the whites with the blacks. If that makes sense, I see it like two sides of the spectrum, like bold and then basic and classic looks as well. Okay, so this is going to make my shoulder hurt if I adopt this style, which I don't think I am going to, but oversized totes and bags are going to be in spring and summer you probably already see people carrying them around now but yeah so if you love an oversized bag go out and get yours because they are going to be in um let's talk about jeans so obviously we know that skinny jeans was in a while and then it was out and then it things started to get more baggy things are going to stay more baggy so the jeans that are going to be in is like slouchy or baggy jeans, not so much the high-waisted mom jeans, but more like casual, loose, baggy fitting jeans, wide leg jeans, and embellished jeans. So um, also adding to that, big cargo jeans. I personally am not a fan of the cargo look, but it's going to be in. So that also goes as well as cargo pants. So cargo pants are going to be in as well. Okay, sticking kind of with the denim arena, um, all denim outfits are a look this spring and summer. So like, an, like wearing a denim jacket with your denim jeans, wearing an all denim dress with a denim jacket, just putting denim on denim. That is also going to be in. Um, Okay, this, I like this. Okay, this is something that I am going to adopt, but maxi skirts are in for spring and summer 2023. So like big flowy, pretty maxi skirts. And also on that side of things, skirts that have the slit up, of, up um, one of the legs, that is going to be in as well. And then also with dresses, that side slit coming up the leg is going to be in. And also, not just the slit, 
but it's a diagonal cut of the fabric of the skirts and the dresses. So that sharp contrast in your skirt, that is also on trend. And then also pencil skirts. So kind of like skinny pencil skirts are going to be in. And then also, I don't know if I'm gonna explain this right, but dresses that are not like form fitting. So like maybe think of like the widest part of your body. For me, that would be my hips. So the dress style that I would get would be like straight, like my hips are here. So it's just the dress itself is gonna be like skinny and straight. So it's not gonna be hugging my curves. It's gonna take like the widest part of me and then it's gonna stick in that line area, if that makes sense. So something else I saw on the runway shows that I watched was the oversized blazers. So those are still in. That's something that's been in for winter, fall and winter, and that is still in. I still need to find the perfect oversized blazer because I love that look and I feel like it's really comfortable um, and hides like all the wrong places. <laughs> but yes, oversized blazers still in and going to be in. Okay, this one's kind of a weird one to me. I feel like this is something that I've already done unintentionally and I don't think it looks good to me personally. Like if I'm running to the grocery store or something, it may be something that I'm throwing together. But the look is like this casual plus business look thrown together. An example of this would be wearing a hoodie with a blazer and maybe some baggy jeans. So it looks like part of you is fixed and sophisticated, but then the other part doesn't care. <laughs> it's gonna be a trend, but I guess that's it, okay? Maybe you like it, I don't know. I'm not the biggest fan, but I know I've worn it like unintentionally already. <laughs> okay, next up we have cutout tops. So like the angle of the fabric might show like a portion of your shoulder, um, just like, or there might be a cutout you know, near your stomach area, but it's not all in one piece. There's these like interesting angle cutouts for the tops. Something else kind of related to this, which I'm not going to adopt, but it's a, it's like a skinny triangle all the way down coming from your neck, almost to like your belly button. It's, it's almost, it is, it can be revealing, but it's what I was seeing was it was just like more of like this skinny opening from your neck down almost to your belly button. I will put a couple images up to explain what I'm talking about, but it's almost like these triangle angles um, going down the middle of the dress. I mean, the middle of the dress or the blouse, and then even that angle coming up the skirt as well in the center. I saw that as well being on style. Okay, lastly, I'm gonna talk about shoes. And there's just a couple things to say about shoes for spring and summer. So I'm actually gonna try to find some of these that are cute for myself, but ballet flats are going to be in for spring and summer, which I'm excited about because they're so easy to just slip on if you're running out of the house. And then plus they look stylish and put together. So ballet flats and then um, kitten heels. So like that little small little heel um, that doesn't look stable, but it actually is. Those kitten heels are gonna be in um, platform shoes and like boots and stuff like that are still in. And then lastly, strappy sandals. And what I saw on the runway shows too that I watched was also like these gladiator type of sandals where the strap goes all the way up to your knee and then it's just a flat sandal. So those I saw on the runway shows, those also can be in for spring and summer with a cute dress. That would look great. Maybe even some shorts that would be cute with. But yeah, that I just wanted to share the information with you, what I've been researching, what I've seen multiple times, 
what I've been listening to other stylists mention for spring and summer. Please go ahead and subscribe if you enjoy like style reselling videos. I'm, I show a lot of like what I pick up at the thrift store. I show what I um, resell items as, like what sold videos, thrift with me's, different tips and tricks and all that stuff. So thank you so much if you already are subscribed and are continuing to follow my journey. It means a lot to me. Please leave your comments down below and I will see you next time. Bye.